Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Blu-ray discs. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to add a Blu-ray disc to your desktop PC. Now, if you have a DVD drive inside your system, chances are you can add or upgrade to a Blu-ray drive inside your system. You just need a slot for it, and you need the connectors inside. We'll show you those later on in this episode. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to choose a Blu-ray drive to put into your system. You can either choose one that just reads Blu-ray and writes to DVD and CD, or you can choose one that actually writes to Blu-ray as well if you actually want to burn higher quality discs. Now, if your main concern is playing back Blu-ray movies, you can get away with one that just reads Blu-ray but writes to the other formats. If you do want to write to the higher capacity Blu-ray discs for backup purposes, then you will want to buy one that's a bit more expensive but does write to Blu-ray as well. We've chosen this Pioneer disc because it both reads and writes to Blu-ray and is not too expensive. So to start the install process, first unplug your computer from all of the cables connected, including the power, and then open up the case. If you're replacing your old drive, first locate it inside the case, then unscrew it from the chassis and remove the data and power connectors from the back of the drive. Then you should just be able to slide the drive out the front of the case. Now if you have an older DVD drive that you're replacing, you may want to make sure that the connectors are going to be the same on the new drive. DVD drives that were a lot older used ATA connectors, which was the ribbon cable. Newer drives use serial ATA, which is a much smaller connector, and it has a different power connector too. If your motherboard doesn't have serial ATA, you can actually get a serial ATA adapter card. To put the new drive in, just reverse the process. Slide it in the front of the case, screw it down, and then connect both the data and power connectors. Then close up the case, put the screws back in to fasten it, and you're done. Now you may need a couple extra things to make sure that you can play back Blu-ray movies. One of them is a video card that's capable of HDCP encoded content. You might want to check the card that you have and make sure that it is capable. If not, you may want to upgrade. You also want to be sure that you have a monitor that's capable of playback of HDCP content. If these two components don't have that and you try to play back a Blu-ray movie, nothing will happen. So you'll have wasted a little bit of time there. So while you're inside the case, you may want to upgrade your video card too. For information on choosing and installing a new video card, you can actually see our series on how to build a PC. We have one on the video card in that. For information on choosing a monitor, you can see our Accessorize a PC series for more information on that. Now, if you're looking to install Blu-ray on a notebook, don't forget to check out one of the other parts in the series. We'll show you how to do that. We'll also show you how to install the software for playing back and burning DVDs. And we'll also show you the process of burning a DVD and other parts of this series. You'll also see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.